It's a pretty intuitive question. Why don't electric cars have solar roofs? Wouldn't it make sense to have self-sustaining charging capabilities? Teslas and other cars run off electricity, drawing from an electric power infrastructure that often runs off of dirty fuels. Solar power generates a lot of electricity for free from the sun. So why don't electric cars have solar roofs to power them for free? One of the biggest arguments made against electric vehicles by critics is that it makes use of energy which is generated in many countries from non-renewable sources like coal. Even though there are multi-directional benefits for the environment by driving an electric vehicle over a car with an internal combustion engine, concerns over availability of charging infrastructure and more importantly sources of energy generation remain vital sticky points. A startup is now looking at addressing those issues by making use of solar power. While still a long way away from making the technology commercially viable or even production ready, Lightyear, the startup company, has been continuously working to make use of solar fuel cells to power cars of the future. Recently, the company installed a solar roof on a Tesla Model 3 and is now gearing up to bring out two research cars to study the feasibility of the technology. The company has equipped its solar technology onto a Volkswagen Crafter LCV and seamlessly integrated a solar roof onto a Tesla Model 3. Numbered 005 and 006, as they are called respectively, these two research vehicles are the latest development in a series of platforms of Lightyear's technology and design choices. The vehicles can be seen driving around in the surroundings of Lightyear's headquarters, located in the city of Helmand in the Netherlands. The startup first caught attention because it spun out of solar team Eindhoven, a group of engineering students from the Technical University of Eindhoven in the Netherlands, who have been competing in the World Solar Challenge with their Stella and Stella Lux energy-positive solar cars, meaning that they can produce more energy than they consume. After being quite successful in the competition consistently, they decided to turn their experience building solar cars for the race into a startup building solar cars for consumers. Last year, they unveiled their first car, the Lightyear One. At the unveiling, the electric vehicle specs were impressive, even though the price was a bit steep at $125,000. Nonetheless, the development of such a vehicle could result in advances in solar integration on cars, which has so far been limited. With their integrated solar technology, the Lightyear research vehicles will help to demonstrate the added value of integrated solar panels on vehicles as they drive around measuring solar yield. The vehicles will provide additional real-world data on vibration impact, shock absorption, and waterproofness. This testing is deemed crucial to ensure a safe, reliable, and durable solar system that will last the lifetime of electric cars and any other vehicles that utilize the solar routes. Much like solar-powered homes, solar cars harness energy from the sun, and then convert it into electricity. That electricity then fuels the car's powertrain, which is similar to the combination of an electric motor and battery-based energy storage that drives modern hybrid cars. Solar cars can accomplish this through photovoltaic cells, PVC. PVCs are the components in solar paneling that convert the sun's energy to electricity. They're made up of semiconductors, usually made of silicon that absorb light. The sunlight's energy then frees electrons in the semiconductors, creating a flow of electrons. That flow generates the electricity that powers the battery or the specialized motors in solar cars. But it isn't as easy as it sounds. See, the biggest challenge with installing solar panels to power electric vehicles is believed to be the small surface area available on the top of the car. Solar panels usually need a large installation area, like a field or the roof of a building or factory for the intended energy requirements to be made. Additionally, the vehicle on which it is installed may be on the move at times and the sun's rays may not fall on the panels directly for prolonged periods. Also, the math makes it quite difficult. Elon Musk briefly suggested that solar roofs would be an option for the Tesla Model 3, but later walked it back and explained why. Quote, putting solar panels on the car itself, Musk said in July 2017, is not that helpful because the actual surface of the car is not that much and cars are often inside. The least efficient place to put solar is on the car. It turns out that he had meant a solar roof unfolds from the trunk and covers the current car hood. Then, of course, there's a big question mark over how best to make it commercially viable once and if the technology is deemed practical. Some suggest the use of solar panels at homes and in offices generate energy which can then charge the electric vehicles. Tesla has already begun installing such panels in some countries and homes, which might see the automotive industry continues be at the cusp of a revolution of sorts that could potentially spell doom for conventional petrol and diesel engines. As said earlier, solar power on electric cars has yet to become a common feature, but Tesla is about to change that, starting with the Cybertruck electric pickup. Tesla doesn't just make cars, 
The company also engineers, manufactures, and installs solar panels, both the traditional kind and modules that look like ordinary roof tiles. And while the latter seems like it could be a path to more mainstream adoption of renewable energy, the former is still the go-to solution for the solar industry. After the launch of the Cybertruck, Musk said that Tesla's new electric pickup will have a solar roof option that will add 15 miles of range per day. It's the first time that a solar roof system has been confirmed to be coming to a Tesla vehicle. Cybertruck is ideal for the first vehicle to receive the product from Tesla since it has more surface area to embed solar cells and therefore it's easier to achieve more energy generation. Solar roofs on electric vehicles have been discussed and tested most recently with the one on the latest Prius Prime, but the recurring problem is that they very rarely generate enough power to be worth it. For example, it's estimated that the solar cells on the Prius Prime's roof could generate enough power to add about two miles of range during the day but it fell short, and that's not including variables such as where you are in the world and where you park your car, which it is highly dependent on. Even one of Tesla's rivals, the Karma Rovero, actually has a solar roof as an option. But the modern solar panels are inefficient and convert just 15 to 20% of the energy that reaches them. So the Rovero solar roof, having received eight hours of pure sunshine, will generate enough power to drive 1.5 miles while eight hours of charging Tesla's Model 3 from a wall socket will give you your expected 200 plus mile range. When it comes down to it, solar vehicles are all about efficiency. It's a matter of energy to weight. Let's take the standard Tesla Model S that has a 75 kilowatt hour battery. First, we need to consider the amount of energy that an individual solar panel is producing. The energy production of a solar panel is dependent on its material, size, efficiency, and a few other factors. A typical 250 watt solar panel will produce around 30 to 42 and a half kilowatt hours of AC per month. To be safe, let's take the minimum to give us a conservative estimate. If one low end solar panel can produce approximately one kilowatt hour a day of AC electricity, that means you would need an astounding amount of 75 solar panels to produce enough electricity to fuel your Tesla Model S to 100% capacity from 0% each day. Luckily, the average driver travels 37 miles per day, which translates to about 12 kilowatt hours of electricity. So a more realistic number would be 12 solar panels. Remember, this is also a conservative estimate and the charging time will be longer. If you take a vehicle that has a battery pack that is rated at 75 kilowatt hours like the Tesla Model S we just did and divide the 75 kilowatt hours by the 1.2 kilowatts of your solar panel array, then you could charge your car fully in 62 and a half hours of direct sunlight. At the end of the day, it's all about energy density. How much energy falls on a surface relative to how much is consumed. We can have solar powered e-bikes that cover thousands of miles, sailboat drones that cross oceans, even ultralight aircrafts that circumnavigate the globe. What do they have in common? They're all very light, slow, and consume a trickle of electrons. Solar panels generate just enough electricity to keep them moving. For anything weighing thousands of pounds like a car, the energy equation is daunting. A practical solar car would really need to be designed from the ground up with reduced weight and low aerodynamic drag to create a vehicle with more favorable energy density. However, solar power technology has been improving greatly and it is increasingly starting to make sense. There are even startups like German startup Sona Motors and Netherlands startup Lightyear developing electric vehicles mainly powered through onboard solar power. Sono Motors, for example, are starting with a more affordable $29,000 compact solar car designed for urban use. In designing the Scion prototype, Sono's proudest new technology integrates solar cells into polymer body panels to replace conventional painted metal bodywork. Most solar panels rely on cells made from semiconducting silicon crystals, which convert sunlight to electricity at around 15 to 19 percent. But new technologies are in the works to create higher efficiency solar cells utilizing new materials. As the future unfolds and more cutting edge solar technologies come into the market, we can see if self-charging solar electric vehicles become more and more practical as cells get more and more efficient. A future cell technology with efficiencies above 50% would be a game changer and probably make solar cars more appealing and everywhere. And that's all we have for you today. Thanks for watching. Till next time.